Greetings and welcome to another video, which this time is a maker project and specifically a project to build a plastic case for these parts here. And what these parts are, are the components of a custom PC keypad, which I've been building over on the Explaining Computers YouTube channel. And so what we have here are three arcade buttons, very exciting in different colors. We have a microcontroller, a small circuit board, some resistors on that, it's wired up, it's wired up to this uh, USB lead. This will plug into a computer and we'll be able to push these buttons to execute particular keystrokes. But of course, it's not very ergonomic in this particular setup. So what we need to do is to have some sort of case which will hold the buttons in position so I can use my hand to press the buttons and it'll be, well, a finished product. And how are we going to do this? Well, we could 3D print a case, we could design something in 3D print, but not everybody's got a 3D printer and I also like to go back to old school methods where I can. And so we're going to build a case using this. And what this is, is ABS plastic sheet, sometimes called plastic card, a very nice material to work with because we can cut it quite easily using, for example, a knife. Here's our friend Stanley the knife. If you just repeatedly score this stuff, you can then snap it so it's easy to cut and you can fix bits together. You can solvent weld them using a solvent such as a, this Humbrol liquid polyadhesive, which is what we'll be using here. And we cut it on a cutting mat. This cutting mat isn't very well, as you can see. I had a bit of an accident with this after building my uh, Raspberry Pi custom case about a year ago. All, all the project was finished off, and for some reason, I opened up the adhesive. Don't know why, didn't put the top back on, spilt it, and it's destroyed the surface a bit, but it's still perfectly functional for our purposes here. Anyway, let's get out a piece of this uh, ABS sheet. This is two millimeter ABS sheet. Two millimeters are very nice uh, sort of thickness to use. It's uh, tough enough to be good and tough, but it's not so thick it's difficult to actually cut through. I have used three mil sheet in the past. That's very, very tough, but it's more difficult to cut. And uh, on the back of this, oh look, there's some marks already. This is the mark for the first part of our panel. Our panel's gonna do something like that. My uh, hand will go like this. It's gonna be quite big then, Chris. It is, I want it ergonomic so my hand can rest nicely. The buttons will be somewhere up here like that. Imagine three buttons at the top. Sort of spaced out like that, I'll have the buttons there, just a bit of a top piece. You'll see how things progress. And like many of my creations, the design is progressing as we go. This top piece is going to be 19 by 13 centimeters. That's as much as I know at the moment, but uh, it will develop as the, as the video develops. So let's cut this first piece. Let's get our uh, ruler like this. And I just need to get that absolutely in the right place. Never ever, by the way, assume that when you buy this sheet, it has got square edges. It often doesn't. I've often been caught out by that. If you need a right angle, measure it first to check it's right. Because if it isn't, and you assume all the factory parts will be right, and if they aren't, you're in trouble. Anyway, there it is. And we'll just uh, start to score like that. And it'll take a few scores. The trick is to do more scores than you think you're going to need. And that will make life easier. So I'm going to just uh, go into fast motion whilst I do quite a few scores. This must be enough. I can feel I'm just about going through in places. There we are, heavily scored. And in theory, I'm going to try and keep this on camera. And uh, there we are. It's difficult staying exactly in the right place for you, but uh, hopefully, oh, look at that. It's worked, we've got a nice edge. And so I'm going to continue cutting, obviously, this piece here, designing a few other pieces, cutting them, and I'll come back to you after that. Greetings. I've been cutting some more pieces, as you can see. These are side pieces, and these are ever so slightly shorter than the top piece because we're working with two mil material, so you have to account for the thickness of your material because this little bit that goes on the end will go under here and that goes on top and you'll see how that works a bit later on. And the final piece I've got is here. In fact, this is the final two pieces. This is gonna go something like um, that on there. And I scored this and bent it, but didn't actually snap it off. I thought, why not hold those two bits together and make it easier to put things together? But uh, I've yet to take off the base bit of this. This was my final score. And I just wanted to point out, sometimes it's very difficult to actually bend that 
So what you have to do with smaller bits sometimes is to bring in a pair of pliers like that and just I normally ease the ends first very carefully. Again, I'll try to do this on camera and on camera things are trickier. And I also don't want to break off the top piece either. But other than that, there we are. And that will come on. Go, oh, it's come off like that. That's fantastic. And that will be our piece for her for there, won't it? And there's a final thing we need to do before we start putting these top bits together, which is the holes for the buttons, of course. And I've marked those on. Here are the holes for the buttons. They are just under a 30 millimeter hole because I've been measuring these things and looking at designs online and I think it should be just slightly, it's about 29.2 millimeters, something like that. So I now need to find a way of cutting out these holes. And I don't have a drill big enough to do it. I've got a 22 millimeter drill, which will get me close. So what I'm gonna do is to drill through these very carefully to get some 22 millimeter holes and then open that out. And so I think that's the next thing I need to do. Greetings, here I am back again, and we've now got three holes in the top panel, and uh, they are the right size. I'll be able to take our uh, buttons and put them through. These are a uh, clip in, and I'm not going to push them all the way through and clip them yet because obviously that doesn't have to happen right now, but I can see they will fit something like that. And uh, you can start to see the idea. This is going to work. I I'm pleased with this. And I did get these holes in here the way I expected to. I took my large drill and uh, drilled as big as I could. And I didn't try and talk to you on camera whilst doing that. And unfortunately, I didn't notice where my drill was going, as you can see, whilst drilling the hole. But if we speed on through, you can see the hole was drilled. And then I opened up the holes using a Dremel-like tool, as you can see here. Apologies for the technical quality of this shot, but at least you can see what is going on. And uh, here we are back under proper studio lighting and control, where you can see things a lot more clearly. And I also bought this little curved cut in here. Decided it should be curved, maybe it should have been straight. The idea is that the wire, which is going to end up inside here, because it's got a plug on each end, I've either got to cut one of the plugs off and put it through a hole and then resolder the wires, or the idea is this will go in like that, and there's going to be a base piece in here. You'll see how this develops later in the video. Was that the right way to do it? I don't know, but this is what I've done. That's what's going to happen. And at all, in the process of making the holes, I ended up with these things, which look a bit like polo mints. I thought that was very exciting. Probably most of you don't know what a polo mint is, but anyway, these are plastic versions, but obviously not for eating. Let's get rid of those. So I think we'll now start out putting pieces together. Oh, final thing I didn't tell you about, when you've been cutting bits of this by the scoring and snapping method, sometimes the edges aren't perfect. You can work on the edges with sandpaper. Here I'll be working on edges after things are put together. But if you want to work on them before you put them together, get a, a knife and just slowly like this. You can do a, a very good job to edges just like that. Being careful because A, you don't want to cut yourself, but also you can take a lot of plastic off too easily. And in fact, I've even been using my little vacuum cleaner thing as I've gone to keep things tidy. My younger self would not have believed I was doing something like that. Anyway, I think I'm now going to take a little bit of adhesive. You always want to know, where do I start putting it together? This is so child safe, I can't get it open. There we are. I can get in, finally. So um, this goes on the end of there. I think I'm going to start it like that, very, very gently. Don't have to worry about sticking it to the baseboard because I've stuck so many things to this baseboard. It doesn't matter. So I'll get on with some of this. And there we are. That's something that's gone far better on camera than I thought it might. You never quite know where to start on these things. Should you try lots of clamps and all these sort of things? And in the end, you just have to leap in and make it work. And uh, that's gone pretty well. Edges aren't overhanging inappropriately. That's the main thing you don't want to happen because there will be lots of finishing on this anyway, but you want to make sure things are where you want them to be. I think they are. So I think we will now attempt to put on the top piece, which should, if we're lucky, fit. My goodness, it does. Good Lord, that's going to be all right. Oh, that there isn't quite right, is it? Oh, that end piece just needs to be level. That's going to work, that's going to work, that's going to work, it's going to be okay. There's going to be some filling around the top, but that's inevitable given the, the fact I've introduced curves 
into the design, but that's going to be all right, I think. So I think I will uh, risk some adhesive on that. And uh, there we are. That again went pretty well. We now have, I think, a solid object. I'm always amazed when you go through the process of something that doesn't exist to something that does exist. And that is actually tacked together. We've got the basis of our uh, controller. So uh, what I'm now going to do is to work on this a bit more by fitting some internal support pieces. I'm going to cut some small bits of uh, styrene and just put them around the edges to reinforce things on the inside, although it's, it's already pretty solid. And I'm also going to put some filler in so it can all be uh, setting overnight and then I can uh, sand around the edges in the morning. Well now, here I am back again. Stanley the Knife has been very busy scoring lots of pieces of plastic. I think I've added 17 new pieces inside the case. Some as you can see are long edges to reinforce joints, make sure everything's nice and solid. A couple of pieces across the top. I didn't want it to flex. It probably wouldn't have flexed anyway, being made out of a two millimeter material, but it's now four millimeters thick at those points. It certainly isn't gonna flex now. And I've also added a lip on the inside, as you can see. And the reason for that is that I've made a base. And this is again, just a piece of uh, plastic. I've added a four little uh, rubber feet on it. And in theory, this will push fit. If I got it right, it will push fit. I'm very pleased with that. Not quite long enough there, but it is a uh, push fitting properly. It doesn't uh, fall out. And uh, there we are. And as you can see, I did put some filler around all the edges. So I'm a humble model filler as we can see there. And so what I now need to do is to go around and sand all the edges, get everything nice and smooth. And by the magic of filmmaking, here we are, it's all done. Lots of dust has uh, been created, but it is all now nice and smooth. We've got some nice uh, smooth edges here, nice smooth corners. It's come together very well indeed. And so all it now needs is a coat of paint and we'll be ready to fit the buttons. And here we are, several coats of spray paint and uh, 24 hours later, with our final case. And I think it's looking pretty good. I fitted the buttons, as you can see. They hold in very nicely. The inside obviously still as it was, except we've now got the buttons poking through. And effectively, I've now got to pass back to Chris on the Explaining Computers channel a kit comprising this and the microcontroller, whose wires it now need to be soldered to the, uh, the buttons underneath here, and also the wire, and also the base piece. I do like the base piece. In fact, let's be wild. Let's be absolutely bonkers. Let's do that. Let's take this and uh, put it through a little thing like that. And in theory, if I've got this right, this is just a very rough putting together like that and uh, that and that and, uh, well, I'm not far enough down, am I? Deary me. You'd think I'd get it right, wouldn't you? But there we are, it's a really good push fit. But uh, there we are, that's gone in there like that. And that's what the final thing will look like with the wire hanging out the end. And so I think the only thing left on this project is to give it an excitement rating. And I think I'm going to rate putting this together, I think it is six on the excitement scale. It's not as exciting as some of the things we've done on this channel. I do enjoy making things out of a plastic sheet, but this is more of a practical project, isn't it? And uh, if you want to see the final thing working with all the buttons wired up linked to a computer, just check out the video related to this on the Explaining Computers YouTube channel. You've probably watched that video already. But now that's it for another video. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, please press that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I hope to talk to you again very soon. Thank <laughs> you.